so one of my followers in china all right is like my brother now anyway it's not a follower he watched one of my videos which i did so this is what he has to say i will just share it with you people here so that uh, you can understand what is happening as well and he even promised to send me money oh he and the truth about the thing is that he has been sending me money for over some time i think this is a, if this one comes in that should be the fourth time i've received money from this brother you understand thank you so much bro let me share the video with you people so you can understand as well you are so busy i just watched your, some of your, uh, your video a video you posted on um, uh, youtube not about, maybe about 11 hours ago so i watched a video about um, uh, some students 700 students that are going to be deported from Canada. And the information from the video is so powerful, man. The content is heavy. Yeah, I watched the video. It's really, really important, man. I feel so bad for those students. And the content, what is said in the video, man, it makes a lot of sense. We just need to be, to be really careful. To be careful. People like you are, are, are being sent by God come and enlighten some of us because i cannot imagine how frustrated some people are right now yeah. and sometimes it's about patient patient we don't have patience. We, we are in a, we, we are in a hurry we don't have patience. i also don't ask questions we are so naive we are so desperate like what you said you are, you are chatting with an agent for, for a long time you haven't seen the person on live on face to face you haven't done a video call like what happened with me before i couldn't even think about video call or something like that or even voice message because of what i was so so desperate may god bless you my brother may god bless you i don't know what i don't know you cannot even pay you eh? you cannot you cannot pay you because you have helped a lot of people from the hands of these scammers called agents they are out there to 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 to, to, to pray on the innocent ones and those that are naive god will richly bless you bro yeah you are doing a lot a great job very important enlighten people about this study abroad and travel abroad stuff you have to be very careful you cannot stay at home and the agent will promise you everything and then you go and get a visa no at least you need to partake in one way or the other those agents are at least wicked very bad my brother be careful mm. take care May God continue to give you the power, the effort to make more videos to enlighten us. Those 700 students that are going to be deported from Canada, you know what they are going through now? And their family, some, some of them maybe are breadwinners. Man. And like you said, if you are being deported, maybe you are, you are being caught frauding documents, maybe in, to go to Canada. You block the way also to, to, to go to America or even Europe because it, as you told, the embassy are interconnected. They connect, they are interconnected. If you use a fraudulent document and you want to go to Canada and you are caught, immediately they will, they will contact the, their name. is going to be, to, 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 to be all over the place. You are going to be banned from Canada, America, and you are being, going to be frustrated. They say, you don't have to be careful and be patient. Yeah, you better you take your time. It's better to be to be late than to be to to to, 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 to destroy our future. Especially those documents, the agent will do, I will do this document for you. you know, you go to the embassy and are being exposed. You see? That's why sometimes they refuse to give us Africans visa. Because they don't trust us. Just to get a visa, they take a lot of time because the process, they know that we are fraudulent, we are good at that. Newton, God bless you. Eh? Mm, don't worry, I will send something to your, to your uh, WhatsApp, um, sorry, Momo number. Any, any day from now. End of these days. I watched the video, I was so touched. This is the video I sent to you, the video about the, the, the deportation of students, someone just students from Canada. As for me, I'm just being patient and waiting for the Spanish embassy in Cameroon. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them for an update. Yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm just going to be patient. Yeah. Just take my time. It's better I follow something genuine, but it takes time than to be in a hurry and go and go and get disgrace at the embassy, you know. And go and spoil everything that i take my time in this patience conquer every difficulty and perseverance all right bro <laughs> good morning
I was actually so busy. You know, I'm always very busy. Thank you so much for this voice note. It's so grateful. Yeah, sometimes, you know, a lot of people, when I tell them, especially those I'm working with, when I tell them, you have to be patient. When I tell you that, wait for me after 15 days, some of them, they don't understand. You understand. I know because they are scared of so many things, but I always tell people, that's why when you come to me, sometimes you say, Milton, I want you to do this for me. I will tell you, do you have this? Do you have this? If you say no, I tell you what I can do. If I cannot do it, I will tell you clean and clear, straight to the point that I cannot do it. It's not that I'm wicked. It's because I know I cannot do what you are asking me to do for you. You understand? Take, for example, if we were trying to battle with your admissions the other time and it was not possible, I wasn't. it was not possible for me to get. I would have told you, you understand? Sometimes when I tell students that I cannot do this for you, I cannot get for Lithuania for you, at this time they think I'm joking. There are some specific things you must undergo, you understand? And do, these are the things I share on here. But again, people don't understand. Thank you so much, brother. I'm so grateful. Uh, please permit me share this so that uh, some people can go through it and equally have an idea. You understand? Because some people might have not watched. I just want to seek your you have permission to to share the video first, right? Yeah, okay, okay. It's okay now. It's okay. Yeah, I can share the video. It's your video. It's your video from YouTube. I saw it on YouTube. I was watching uh, some other videos, so I saw your video. You know, I I, I subscribe. So when it pop up, I just check. Then I saw the the, the, the the capture the caption about the petition. So I was like anxious to read. You can share, bro. I also share to, to other people. Yeah. It's, it's all about patience. It's all about patience, man. And if you don't, you don't have patience, you, you lost a lot. Yeah, we have to be patient. I really appreciate what you are doing. You are, you are really doing a lot. You are enlightening people from this video. People will learn sense. We need to learn sense and be very careful, very careful outside. It's not easy. People use this opportunity to, 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 to scam others. When they see, when they realize you are desperate, they will just come. Anything, even if they cannot do it, they will say that they, are going, they will do it. At the end of the day, you won't have anything. You lost money, you lost time, you lost everything. So it's okay. Don't don't bother. You can share the video. The 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 the, the, the link. It's your, it's your, your, your YouTube channel. The video is your video. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's your video. The one you did is it uh, about some few hours ago, not up to a day. So I was on on YouTube, so I saw it. Is the content is really nice, and what you are saying is really is the reality about life and about all this study abroad, traveling abroad issue. People lost a lot of money. I have some. I have a friend here. He lost over three million CFD francs because of a Canadian line. He lost the money like that. He, he couldn't even get any but he doesn't know where to start because he was chatting with the agent you know the kind of they 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 they, they give they, they give him some fake receipts some fake um, uh, review about other people so he was so he was so naive and you know some people when they are doing something they will hide it from others you hide it from your friend oh i'm doing a canadian line i want to go to canada i'm doing this kind of line you hide it from your friends so when it backfire they will come out and be crying he lost over three million cfd explain to you now let me talk about the particular news the news i wanted to give you in 2018 a particular agent this is news that came from canada all right and i think the students will be deported because there is no way they can actually keep them in canada one what happened an agent did an application for students all right and you know what is most agents do they like they take they tell you that this is your package maybe three million four million you pay everything to them and at the end of the day they, they take the money then they do your, your 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 admissions offer then they do your visa application and the rest they submit on your behalf there is a place on the irc supporter you can authorize someone to submit for you so they do the submission themselves on your behalf now he an agent a particular agent from a country in asia did this for some students there were about uh, 700 that came from that particular agency now in 2018 all right that was when that incident happened then they moved into that country before they moved into the country because it was a well calculated strategy it was planned that they cannot study again what happened the agent told them that there are 
no available spaces again to fill into this campus that they have to wait but because they didn't want to wait they said okay let's go again for another school what happened but the agent refunded them you understand but of course there is always a percentage that they will always give these big big immigration people so they decided to go in for another school whereas they had already had their student permit now what happened they finally entered into canada because and a, a residence, a student permit is given to you if you apply to Niagara College. The permit that is given to you is in 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 cage for niagara college all right in case you change it and you don't move they cannot change it again to fan college no to fan shore college it is not done like that so when these students uh, in fact it was like what's the name of the school humba college so they had to change the school because they didn't want to be patient what happened now they went in for another course or another program and at the end of the day they ended up in there what happened they have already finished their programs uh, started working some already have working experience they wanted now to apply for pr because another thing you people fail to understand is that when you are about to apply when you get your permanent residency and you want to apply for um sorry when you have your your temporary stay and you want to apply for pr which is permanent residency all those documents that you use to apply for visa during the time you were to enter in here you have to bring the documents back to the table all right you have to bring all of them back for cross checking so something happened the immigration didn't check why they were moving in even the the, the way their visas were given normally the 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 the, the the, the visa official was supposed to find out what happened or let's say even if they had gotten their visas before getting the second admissions letter to move into this school or whatsoever happened the officials at the airport were supposed to verify to see what happened but they didn't check and they have finished everything now upon applying for their pr they were caught while they were they caught like i told you all the documents you use to apply to move in you have to bring them back to the table your admissions offer letters the conditional the unconditional and stuff like that so when upon checking now they noticed that their visas were for a different school whereas they studied in a different university because of course you have to bring in your certificates too and they were as they were for a different universities the officials now started were like they were like what actually happened so they they started checking now started doing background check before they noticed that those students came in in 2018 from this asian country and were from a particular immigration portal but because nothing was traced the agent actually made them sign the forms that they were refunded that was why they couldn't get him you understand it can't go under him again he cannot face anything because he didn't actually do that error but it was a well calculated strategy now they have to return back home or they have to be sent back home the reason is who are you going to blame now you have to blame yourself are you going to blame the agent or are you going to blame who but at the end of the day the agent calculated them because he manipulated them all right so what i'm trying to say here is that you have to be very very careful with some of the things if you check you are going to find this news all over you have to be careful with who you work with all right last two weeks i was asking one woman he was from somewhere after visa application i was like what type of visa he told me and i was like did you do it yourself he said no his agent is in canada i was like ah what happened okay do you know when you are traveling he said he doesn't know and was like when i asked the next question he was like he's like i'm re i really need to go and ask this guy i was like ah, ah someone is doing something for you and you what if they were to ask you questions how will you re re uh, reply to the questions you have to ask questions guys it's not just about doing things with people ask them questions all right this is what i always tell people that when i say give me doc Documents that I need to do this stuff for you provide the documents that I'm telling you because I have checked and I know that these are the documents that you need all right sometimes you go to an agent the agent will be like no don't worry just go and sit give me two months give me four months you don't hear from anybody after three months after four months and you are still sitting you are working with somebody come on you are the one they are using you guys have to be careful with certain things that you take very easily that is your life and before you return now maybe to Pakistan or to India or maybe to the Philippines empty handed you may never go again in there so these are some of the things that we take for granted and at the end of the day they hunt on us and destroy our our future please be careful with the things that we do all right i just wanted to explain these things to you because there are a lot of things that people do someone came to me and was like milton uh, uh this person ate my money i was like what happened he said i gave him two million he said after i will give one million i was like you gave him two million to do what 
for admissions or for what for admissions and visa i was like oh, what have i been telling you the embassy's website is there i have said that if you are to migrate in there do tell them to do the application all right how much they are going to charge you the way i do i tell you that this is how much i need all right and this is how much i need to give you this when i give you my work is done if i decide to pay your your your, your, your first installment for you that is my likeness but that was not the agreement i am not doing anything visa you do it yourself i can guide you if we agree on that all right so always be open to people always speak to people to know what they are doing don't just go someone will tell you that i will do it to the end and and that is your, your package is five million i will do it to the end and you just take your passport and you go come on what happened to you you do, cannot take a laptop and sit down collect your admissions letter and start filling your visa application what is wrong with some of us all right the ircc is there create the account most of us we hang on whatsapp and we cannot do anything at the end of the day we start blaming people you are the cause of your own problem if the time you spend on whatsapp and facebook take the time to create accounts on ircc and do these things yourself all right i hope you will learn from this